Hello guys, this is just a quick, quick discussion video on uh, Miyotsutushi Ura since we finished part, you know, the, we're, we're reading Miyotsutushi and halfway through Miyotsutushi we got a transist to Ura, um, which was kind of awkward at first, but apparently like, if you actually play the games on the consoles, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it's, I guess it's just one bit arc, which is, which probably breaks the record for the biggest arc in Hidarashi, I imagine. Um, but no, it was pretty cool. Um, it was a little long for sure, and you know, like, I was just getting hyped with the main cast and they send you back to the side cast, but it was basically like a big goodbye to the side cast as we finally answer the whole who murdered Tomoe's dad mystery, um, which was, honestly, I, I kind of had a doubt that we would ever solve it for some reason, even though that would be a weird decision. Um, some standout moments. I, I really love the Natsumi stuff, especially uh, her inner battle. It was very uh, Hidarashi um, Sotsu. <laughs> it was very Sotsu. Like, I wonder if there's any inspiration uh, from uh, from this arc that they used in Sotsu. The same, uh, like, the scene where Satoko uh, fought... Um, her inner self, and then the, the witch side one, and then she went on her rampage. The, basically, the same thing happens in in uh, Miyotsukushi Ura, except Natsumi's like, nah, I'd win, and just beats the, <laughs> just just destroys the 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 crazy part, uh, which was pretty sick, honestly. That, that was, like, one of the best moments, and that was just the midpoint. The finale, you know, Hidarashi loves giving you the crazy finales. This was, like, some Muv Love, like, Mayo route, at, like, from Muv Love, extra Mayo route shit, where it's just insane, the siege was insane, Tomoe crashing into a moving plane with a car, um, <laughs> the music, it's, it was, it was a really good finale, like, both the mid, midpoint climax and the final climax were really good, and it kind of makes up for it being a little slow in the middle, um, because, like, even though it's a wrap-up, there's, like, stuff that was, like, eh, like, a little slow, like, the whole ghost, uh, what's her name, Nagisa, the whole ghost Nagisa thing, further proof that ghosts exist in the Hidarashi-verse, though I guess, like, now that I think about it, there were ghosts in the adult Shion arc, uh, but that was, like, Rita, which even brings in, like, more questions, like, does Rita leave behind a ghost even though she's fragment jumping, um, which is kind of crazy, but <laughs> maybe it made sense. Um, but no, I think uh, in general, I enjoyed the arc. It was it was a little slow, but um, it it had some really high points, and the low points weren't that low. Like it was just like okay, okay, yapping, yapping, and it makes I guess it makes you wonder like how is this actually gonna tie into the normal Mutsutushi arc? I guess like if Nobura really was like, her boss really was just Chiba and not someone else, and that would kind of just fuck up their whole plan, because Chiba's going down. Um, though I'm still, I still have an inkling that maybe Nobra works for someone else. I don't know. Otherwise, it feels bad for Nobra. Oh, all her planning's just getting destroyed instantly, like, because if Chiba goes down, then is there even really a point of doing the Hinomiza massacre? I guess, I mean, that'll be answered in, uh, and Miyotsukushi, but, um, no, I liked it. I think for, like, standout characters, obviously, Tomoe got a lot of love, Natsumi got a lot of love, bringing Rena in, which I guess it made sense with her ties with Nagisa, um, seeing some Rena action was fun with, uh, Tomoe, um, but honestly, shout out to Hanada, <laughs> kind of, like, obviously, he's, a uh, parallel to, uh, Tomoe on how, like, they both had a tragedy losing their parents at the bottom, like, at the start of their life, oh, Hanada was actually a little older, I think. Um, but, but like, Tomoe went for justice and good while Hanada got, like, corrupted. It's obviously a parallel, but also he just kind of felt like a male Takano. Which I think I did make the Tomoe Takano connection before, like, a while ago. Um, but no, I, I thought he was a great villain. A great, great superhero villain, very high IQ. Um... When he, like, rushed for the plane, it's like, okay, I can't escape normally. I'm just gonna hijack this plane. I'm like, oh, shit, the gamble. It's crazy out here. Um, so I really enjoyed his performance. Um, and, you know, you got, you got Fujita, you got Yamotai. They didn't have, like, a crazy amount 
of uh stuff to do but um it, it, it's just it's just nice to get like a nice wrap up for these characters that i followed for like the past year <laughs> the whole getting like a final a good ending for all of them besides nagisa she's still dead but at least she's a happy ghost now <laughs> um but yeah i call this the did chad tomoe arc because she does craziness same with natsumi and it's a little, it's a little good one. And I'm excited to get back into the normal mute Satoshi. But yeah, just giving a little update. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are interested in watching the actual playthrough, check the channel. We got so much Hidarashi content. You can spend probably like a year. Actually, I don't know. In, in hours recorded. I guess it probably wouldn't be a year, but like many months many months of content there uh but yeah uh just quick little video totally not making this uh so i can stall a bit on video making <laughs> it's totally not a substitute and not an excuse to make a did chat tomoe thumbnail but yeah anyways since uh, and uh i'll see you in mute satoshi if you're watching